is disgusting. What is um, the main focus of your work these days? I would say uh, that I'm trying to save the profession and the knowledge of the midwife. And, and the larger um, part of that too is to save obstetrics. Because I think uh, midwives all know that there must be obstetricians. What is not known by so many obstetricians in these days is that there must be the midwife and that that profession must be very strong. So what has happened in modern times is that the profession of the midwife has been very much fragmented, chopped into little pieces, and it's lost power. So now we don't have a full idea of what the midwife used to be and how this um, this profession was so essential to preserving knowledge of how women's bodies function during the process of becoming pregnant, giving birth, caring for the child after. And so because of how um, maternity care has evolved in this modern technological age, we have so many illusions uh, of how wonderful technology is, and yes, to be sure, technology has many wonderful things, but when you use it all the time, you mess up birth to a point where people forget how, you, how to get birth. This is a very dangerous thing, because women, when they become afraid of giving birth, now you have too much surgery, and that means very quickly your obstetricians become more and more ignorant. Ignorant. And we, we can't afford to have obstetricians becoming more ignorant than they were 40 years ago. Of the natural childbirth process. Uh, yeah, we, miss, we need to know about the natural childbirth process. And so I think because uh, people don't always understand how easy it is to scare a pregnant woman. And when you scare her, you interfere with her ability to give birth. Uh, when you scare her, uh, you can make a lot of money. There's so much money to be made from scaring women, it's so easy. And so it used to be that cultures of the world that were sustainable understood you must not scare the women who will be mothers, you shouldn't scare the girls, you shouldn't scare the young women, you shouldn't scare the mothers, you shouldn't scare the babies. Any mammal uh, knows better than this, than the human. <laughs> and so unfortunately, because of our love and dependence upon technology, uh, we almost take it for granted that everybody's scared of birth. But my um, experience in becoming a midwife and, and doing this in the context of a community that we established, a brand new community, and we were able to create a culture in which women and men were not afraid of birth. And we were able to show that we could have very good results, with a good results with a C-section rate less than 2%. And I was able to find some other uh, places in the world that developed independently, independently of us, who had the same results. It proves that it's possible. Like the farm in Tennessee? Like the farm in Tennessee. Uh, there was a, a doctor that worked in South Australia, Australia who died about a year ago, who did the same with midwives there. Uh, there's a wonderful doctor, uh, Alfred Ropenschau, and uh, from Vienna, who did the same thing. Uh, there's another doctor in Okazaki City named uh, Tadashi Yoshimura, um, same thing. All of these wonderful doctors work with midwives and knew the importance of midwives. So then how does the doula come into this? Because of the modern technological way that hospitals are organized, now you have a midwife, instead of taking care of one woman, maybe she's taking care of four. She's not able to spend all that time in the room with each of these women. Well, to keep the woman from becoming frightened in labor, which is a powerful 
and can sometimes be frightening process for the first time. Uh, you need somebody with her who's not afraid of birth, and that's the doula. So I think that doulas and midwives can work together with women to maintain and create an atmosphere for birth in which it can happen much more beautifully and gracefully and safely. We can eliminate these huge fears. And uh, so that's what I hope to see develop in this next decade. Uh, so that more people can give birth uh, ecstatically, safely, with the mother and the baby being closely held together. And of course the dad is there too when possible, and when he wants to be, well then, then you have something very beautiful happen. And it strengthens the family. You know, not so much money is made, but birth is not for making money. Birth is so that a human, a new life can enter in the best possible way, then we have less violence in the world, and we have better health. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.